ruling with an iron fist under the guise of public safety is tyranny. And some of y'all don't like it the way that I now spit like MC Doom dolls on a holier than thou kick. Smack your face for your blasphemous ways and everybody they quote me like the latest catchphrase. I'm on a mission that goes beyond material. So eat this killer series, serial killer serial. Killer killer for real. Drop all the beer with a sound you can feel like cold hard steel that swarm like the blood flows out of your head. As I rock non-stop till I bomb a deathbed. I knock a swap out a catalytic converter with a few hand tools but I can never be murdered. Spit the rapid fire like a round of shells I got the lyrical skill that says the devil to hell So don't disrespect what you can't understand Cause I can still squash your brain in the palm of my hand Stupid Another horse came out A fiery red one This rider was given the power To take peace from the earth And to make men slay each other For him was given the large sword What's good, my people? It's your boy in the building, MC Too Tall, with everyone's favorite black cat, Billy. want to talk to you for a minute about what's going on during this quarantine season, which we hope doesn't become an annual thing or even uh, a twice a year thing. But, uh, even this one time, it sure is annoying, at the very least. And at its strongest, quite, quite scary. We have governors ruling with an iron fist. They are ruling with an iron fist over the people that voted them into office. They are punishing them for exercising their right to assembly, right to protest, right to free speech, the freedom of religion. They're just yanking this away from them under the guise of public safety. Uh, guys, you're not being benevolent. You're being, you are being tyrannical tyrannical I tell you you guys are being wastes of life that are probably screwing up your chances for re-election um I don't know what to tell you okay so you got um we could start with uh Ralph Northam the anti-gun uh guy in the clans rope or possibly blackface out in Virginia. He's shutting down all the gun shops saying they're non-essential. You need your guns, okay? People in the South, they hunt for their food a lot of times. They need their ammunition to protect their ranches. Because guess what? There's still rustlers out there that rustle up livestock, okay? And uh, you need to fire warning shots at them. And if they defy you, well, you know, you really don't want to um, shoot the lethal shot. But if it's them or you, what you're going to do in that situation? Let's be real with this. And how are you going to even be on the upper hand of that situation if you can't get your ammunition? So, yeah, Ralph Northam used this quarantine as an opportunity as an opportunity to go after people's guns and their ammunition. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Maryland. Maryland people are getting arrested for um, church gatherings. Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, this pastor had this nice idea, very good idea in my opinion. Parishioners will drive into the church parking lot, windows up, and using a radio frequency, the pastor would communicate the word of God to the parishioners in this parking lot turned into a makeshift drive-in church sermon. 
but local police weren't having that. They, uh, they came over, started fining all those cars. They, they take down their license plate, left notes um, explaining what they're doing is illegal. It's violating social distancing. If you're in your car by yourself with the windows up between two other cars who also have their windows up, you are divided between yourself and the occupants of these other vehicles by multiple layers of glass. It don't get no more social distancing than that. But now these people are faced with $500 fines. And if I were those parishioners, I wouldn't pay it. And on top of that, you had people throwing nails and tacks into the entrances of these parking lots to give these people flat tires. That is malicious. And... I doubt that law enforcement was doing that. A lot of people say law enforcement was doing that. I doubt it. I think it was like your local uh, anti-God people because they live everywhere, even in Kentucky. Uh, you, you'll be surprised how many anti-Bible people live down in the Bible Belt also. So, yeah, I think that's all that was. I think that was just, you know, your typical disrespectful vandalism. And we're going to move on here. Uh, Governor of Maryland tightened up his icy grip around uh, his constituents. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. There's a guy riding in the bus with no mask on. Now, there were other passengers with no masks on, but there was some social distance going on. Everybody's sitting six feet away from each other. All well and good, right? Well, everything's all nicey-nicey, right? Until the bus driver stops the bus without his mask, walks to the back, and tells the guy, hey, you got to get off the bus. You're not wearing your mask. Meanwhile, he's not wearing his mask. Then a cop comes on. Hey, you got to get off the bus. You're not wearing a mask. You got to get off the bus. Then other cops show up, all completely without masks. They drag this guy off the bus because he's not wearing his mask. And they arrest him and put him in a cell with people who don't have masks on. Now watch. After all is said and done and they swab his nostrils and he comes up positive for COVID-19, they're going to say, see, he was endangering the public. He had COVID-19. No, you ass. You stuck him in a cell with other people that had it. You stupid idiots. So in other news, folks, in other news, let me tell you this. Barack Obama... The single worst president in my entire lifetime. The do-nothing place marker of a president. Finally slithered up out of the woodwork to endorse his former Veep, Joe Biden. And uh, he wasn't very convincing. He didn't bring me sudden confidence in Joe Biden. I'm sorry. I don't want the guy with the hairy leg speech comparing black children to cockroaches to be my president. I'm sorry. I, I don't want that. I don't want a guy that would rather say the thing than God to be my president. I don't want a guy that's afraid to say the word God to be my president. There's something wrong with that. People, people that are afraid to say the word God because they might offend somebody are sickos. Especially if you're talking about 
inalienable rights endowed by the Creator. How do you not say God in that situation? Or at least say the Creator. The Creator of the heavens and the earth and everything in it. Couldn't even do that. You know the thing. Because it stumped his mind, maybe? Or he was just afraid to say the word God. Who knows? And uh, he only got tough with an ally that needed aid from us. He only got tough with an ally that needed aid from us. And so, you know the story already. He tells the Ukraine president, fire your prosecutor that's investing the company that's about to hire my son, or you're not going to get the funding you need to fight your enemies in this war that you're fighting. And your troops are going to die. So we're going to pit the lives of your troops against my son's employment to some illegal, corrupt son of a bitch. And his money laundering company. You know. He's on there blackmailing. And bragging about blackmailing. Nobody investigates him. But. They wanted to impeach Donald Trump. As. There was. A pandemic about to break out. And. And. Uh, I could repeat the president, but I think the president said it enough times about how he locked out people coming in from China while he was facing impeachment. And they're actually going to look to impeach Donald Trump again. They're definitely going to look to impeach Donald Trump again. And of course, your typical players in the game are involved with it again. Speaker Nancy... Congressman Schiff, Congressman Nadler. And, yeah, Nadler's a little weasel. I want his job. I want his job. Other than that, at least there's some good in the world. Governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, he is about to start lifting the quarantine in Texas a little bit earlier than the recommended date. Now this I would not recommend to more highly populated cities. You know how it is in Texas. It's not a fable. Everything's spread out. Your next door neighbor is about an acre away. So They've been practicing social distancing without even knowing it. So there might be some things that he might do for the mayors of more populated cities like Houston and Dallas. But for the most part, you got a, you got a state that's about 50% the size of the remaining continental USA and uh, everybody's spread out. So I could see that. I could see him lifting the quarantine. It, it makes sense to do that. If you have a lot of land, very little density going on, why not lift the quarantine? Meanwhile, the governor of South Dakota... She is about to be the first governor to allow for the use of hydroxychloroquine. Because, like the president said, what have you got to lose? And with that said, it's your boy Too Tall with Billy the Cat here. Stay strong. 
keep kicking that slang.